Oh, Hunter, what the heck? Is this a real jetpack? This is a real life jetpack, and for the first time ever, it's fully functional. Oh! <laughs> I've got a homemade jetpack that's taken years to develop. And as you can see, today's the first day we finally got it fully functional and absolutely destroyed our backyard. This thing puts out an insane amount of power and heat. Check out these Legos over here. They got extremely hot. So let's rewind to figure out exactly how we got here. So one of my friends has been making a jetpack for the past couple of years. He's bringing it over, but apparently all the components are brand new. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna spend a couple of days finishing this jetpack, getting it fully functional to where it's ready to fly. And then we're gonna surprise my friend Carter Share with it and put him through a couple challenges to okay, see okay. how much power this jetpack really has. Hooking up the fuel line for one of the engines, the first thing we're gonna do is test one of these things and see what it does. Okay, we got fuel. Priming the pump, sending gas through the lines, filling it up so that way there's no air bubbles. Okay. If you have an air bubble while you're flying, you fall. It's so bad. <laughs> the entire control system is all custom designed and programmed, including this mobile application, which allows us to select which engine we want to run. Fantastic. That and all the components are new, and a new configuration, new everything. But that's the exciting part for me. It's been nice knowing you, yeah. <laughs> Nice knowing you. Yeah. A lot of hours, a lot of jet engines. It's been crazy, but it's been fun. <laughs> so if I trim up, throttle, let go, that sends the signal to start the engine. And this is what breaks it out to all the engines. So yeah. all the engines say, oh, we got the start thing. So they all run individually, independently. Yeah. And then effectively, this is just, this is what takes one signal and breaks it out to all five. Initiate startup sequence. I don't know what that one was. The engines killed themselves, potentially some kind of fail safe. So if something goes wrong, they die. But the thing is they both went out. So I wonder why they both would quit. I was holding onto the kill switch. I might have accidentally let go of it. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Nope, that wasn't it. We tried a number of different things, but didn't figure out the actual problem until two weeks later when we met up for day two of final testing. Is that the cooldown sequence? The internals were at probably about a thousand degrees Celsius. We finally figured out that the problem was a programming error, but we had no way to change it on the spot. This was our last day to get this jetpack fully functional. We ended up finding a solution, but it involved twisting wires together and duct taping it to the frame of this jetpack. When your jetpack is made of duct tape, you know you have high confidence it's gonna work. <laughs> All five engines are functional technically on some level. Finally, it's day three. I had a couple of my friends follow Carter around so that way I knew exactly where he was at all times. I went and hid back inside this room at the house. Once I knew Carter was back and in the location, I just walked outside and cranked this thing up knowing that he would eventually hear it come outside and wonder what's going on. The jetpack is powered on. Now I'm activating the trim and the start sequence right now. What the heck is that noise? Yo, Hunter, what is going on? What is that? It sounds like you're a jet airplane about to take off. Is that gonna explode? It's really loud, really hot, and it stinks. Oh my god. Oh! 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 Carter, this is Will. He's been working on this jetpack for years now. Just the past couple days, we've been working nonstop to get this thing running. You want to try this thing out? Yeah, this thing looks sick. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to fly, obviously. All right, let's see how that goes. I'm going <laughs> to jump over the pool and stuff. Yeah, this thing is dangerous. Uh, I hacked it together in my basement. That's not very promising. It looks pretty cool to me. <laughs> oh, Ben's ready to fight. He thinks I'm going to come in after him. I will shoot. Oh yeah? I'll fire from the baby. Initiating start sequence in three. <laughs> so Bailey, what are your first impressions on this thing? Do you think like, hey, that looks like a death trap or do you think like it looks cool or? I like the colors in the back. It looks like the Iron Man, the red and the gold. That's it. It looks a little bit like a leaf blower outside. This is a real life homemade jetpack and since we don't know how to fly it yet, we're gonna blow people around on a skateboard. Let's see how much power this thing actually has. Oh, Carter! I think Carter is FaceTiming his mom over there right now. He's on the phone doing something. It's not my mom, it's my grandma, okay? Uh -huh. If I take off the ground, you guys should be concerned. <laughs> Probably try and grab me and hold me by the leg to keep me on the ground. You're gonna take a uh, balloon flip away. All right guys, time to turn it on. Stand back. Here oh, we go. Oh boy, here we go. Here goes hoverboard Hunter, but he's got a jetpack now, which means I guess he's 
Jetpack Hunter? All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna get really loud. You're gonna see some fire in a second. Carter's going to try and blast me into the water. So I've got this piece of plastic to protect me from all the heat, and I think it's gonna work. All right, I think we should be able to start these. The 23rd time is the charm. Yeah. Carter's gonna get it now. It's gonna happen. I think, I think we got it now. Oh, here we go. That's crazy. I was trying so hard to hold myself down. <laughs> also, I think when I was in the water, I was getting sprayed with gas. Oh my god. I could, like taste it or something. Oh. Carter Jetpack Share. So this video looks like it was a success. Once again, what's your name? Will. Will Gurecki. Look me up on Instagram. Instagram. Go follow this guy. He's been working on this thing for years and it's almost there. I guarantee him in the next video with this thing, we're going to be flying because just two arms has an insane amount of power. It's a lot of fun to play with and I'm just going to continue building it. So. All right, thanks, Will. I'll see you later. Hey, Carter, what are you doing? Get back here. Hey, hey, Find hey. Find keepers, right? <laughs>